Hey everyone, Linda Reed Annover. Well, I'm here in my Zapier dashboard and in this tutorial, I'm about to show you how you can make Zapier talk between Eventbrite and Zoom. So it has the Eventbrite registration and then it comes through to Zoom so that you have got your task, your registrants being re registered straight in that Zoom or webinar or meeting that you're running. If you're running a workshop event, and this is a question I get asked so often in the course creator circle and inside my marketing circle members when we're running workshops and events and how do you do it? So we're going to start by making a zap. I've just clicked on that button. We're going to name the zap and this one in particular is um, Meet Fox webinar. Be ready to zoom. Okay, so that just lets me know what it is. No one's going to see that, so you can title that whatever you would like. Now, the app I would like to trigger is Eventbrite. Now, if I didn't have the app there, I could add it in from there. Now, what I'm looking for is when a new attendee is registered. And yes, when new attendee is registered, we're just going to click the continue button here. We're, then we've got to look for the account. So it's going to look for the account. And then we're going to get brought up a series of fields. So the customized attendee. So what we're looking for here is we're going to get the organization. So you might have more than one organizer. And then the event that I wanted to talk to. So this one in particular, we're looking at how to structure your time more effectively. And then we're going to hit continue over here. Now I've got the Zoom web webinar already done. All I need to do here is test the trigger. Uh, so I'm relying on the fact that you've popped the two things together. I've tested the trigger. It's ready to go. We're just going to hit the continue button and then we're actually going to head over here to our next step and our next step in here is Zoom. And we're going to hit the little Zoom button over here and our action is we're wanting a new webinar registry because this is a webinar but you could use meeting. If you were just using Zoom meetings, you definitely could use Zoom meetings in there. And then what we're aiming to do is the privacy stuff is all good. We need to just click in here. I must have clicked on the privacy link. You need to click on the account. Hit our continue button. And then we can choose our value. So we're looking for the net, the upcoming webinar. So that one was once again, it's how to structure your calendar. So we just type that in. Then we type use the fields to work together. So the fields are actually bringing in information from the webinar. So the email address comes in from Eventbrite. The first name comes in from Eventbrite. And if we wanted to add any more like a last name or anything, you could add that as well. But we're just looking for first name and last name for this one. We hit the continue button. We test and continue. And we have the lovely Uber who's already registered for this one. So we turn our zap on and it's going on over there. And now if I head over to the webinar information in my Zoom window and I hit the refresh button, you will actually see we have one registrant in the Zoom button from the Eventbrite registry ready to go. And that's how you make Zoom and Eventbrite talk together so that your you can run your lead pages and your webinars through your, through your Eventbrite account, just like we are here. Um, and then you can have everything go through and zap through to Zoom like we have here using a lovely tool called Zapier. And I'll pop a copy of this link in the tutorial with you so to help you just make a copy, just grab it and work with it straight away. Okay, thanks guys, see you next time.